the extreme left is wanting to tear down monuments. Why? The answer isn't really that difficult to understand, but it can certainly be difficult to explain. Extremists on the right are declaring that the Confederacy, which lost, by the way, yeah, the Confederacy lost, but these extremists on the right want to declare the Confederacy as a good thing. And then on the not-so-extreme right, you have people declaring that the values this country was founded on are a good thing. Well, yes, there were a lot of good values that this country was founded on, but there are other values that were terrible, and many people aren't even willing to state that they're terrible. There are people who won't even decry the treatment of the Native Americans. They'll say, well, well, they were just savages. Look at the things they did. And then they'll sometimes include things like scalping and what they'll describe as what the savages did. But those people don't even know history because it was the Europeans who introduced scalping. This is the same sort of ridiculous mindset you often find with Christian fundamentalists who declare it as persecution for others to tell them that it's oppressive to spew hateful things at LGBT, or that it's persecution to say, Happy Holidays, or that a green Starbucks cup is persecuting Christians. It's a mindset that declares that if you stop them from doing or saying terrible things to others, that it's destroying their religious freedoms. But back in the case of the Native Americans, it was supposedly oppressive to stop the Europeans from killing and scalping people. If you resist being exterminated and resist an actual genocide, you're a savage. Well, now people are declaring it is genocide if we don't simply put white Christians at the top of everything. That it's oppressive to simply state that almost everything is geared towards white Christians. If any other groups get put up on a pedestal, it's considered persecution and white genocide. I mean, really, when people are seriously offended because some people from a sports team don't stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance, and people are offended at a green or red cup, and they demand that people show respect to all the values this country was founded on, absolute respect with no hesitation or questions, how else do you expect the far left to react? I don't worship a flag. I don't worship the Constitution. I don't worship outdated and archaic values and principles that happen to have been included in the founding of this country. I don't believe that fear is the same thing as respect. If you do, then congratulations, you're 200 years behind, while you complain about archaic and destructive religions that are also 200 years behind. Do you see the irony here? Now go ahead, call me a cuck, a faggot, an SJW, whatever you want. You know that what I'm saying is true, and that makes you angry.